What's up, fam? Tonight, Jamil and I are going to what is considered one of the best buffets here on the Las Vegas Strip. We are at the Caesars Palace Hotel and Casino, and we are going to be dining at the Bacchanal Buffet. This buffet is known to be very elegant with their food. They have a huge a variety of seafood section that I have heard about that I'm really excited to try tonight. They have a huge um, supply of meats that are carved. That's gonna be really, really delicious. And a whole bunch of other choices today. We have really high hopes and expectations. So let's go in, let's go inside and check it out and see what the Bacchanal Buffet has to offer. We paid $54.99 per person. So the total came out to $119.19 and 19 cents with tax. So we got a heavy discount. I'm not mad at it. I'm really here for the seafood tonight and the meat section and of course some extras, but the seafood, absolutely. Cause I hear they have king crab legs, snow crab, hot, cold, whatever you want, lobster tails, all those stuff. Um, so we're gonna, I think lobster, I'm not sure. Did you see lobster? Yeah, there's lobster. <gasps> there's lobster. The ambiance in here is really nice. We got a private little table uh, here in like kind of a back area, which I'm really happy about. So it's a little more quiet, but this place is really, really packed. A reservation is recommended, but we did have to wait over a month to get this reservation. So you can wait in line, but you're gonna be waiting in line for a while. The waitress is really, really nice though. She gave us our drinks. I have a water and a Diet Pepsi. So I'm super happy about that. And they gave you some of these to crack your um, crab legs. Um, and then the waitress just came by to give us this, which I believe it digs out the meat, right babe? That's it. I think it digs out the meat or if I'm wrong fam, let me know. But it gave us this. And then we have some uh, wipes, hand wipes at the end or before if you want. I already washed my hands, so I'm good to go. Um, plenty of napkins, so we're ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start the seafood section. So we're starting off with the hot snow crab. So this is the only thing that they serve for you. I didn't even tell him how many pieces I want, even though I did want a lot. He just kept piling it on more and more and more. So this is the warm snow crab here. They have melted butter already for you. And they also have clarified butter, I think it's called. And I, I think they're very similar, but they're also a little different. So I think you could get either kind. I just got regular melted butter. Um, and then they have the lobster claws here. Um, we have some shrimp, and this is the cold section. Lobster claws are cold, the shrimp's cold, and I got some uh, lemon wedges and some like Cajun sauce to dip it in. Okay, we're gonna start with the snow crab. All right, this is all the, all the practice of eating lobster at home, or yes. crab at home. All of our uh, mukbangs? Our mukbangs. Okay, ready? Okay, go right ahead. Nice. What? Is it that good? It's really good. Nice. So we're usually used to getting king crab um, because we get it, you know, from Costco and they, they're really meaty and hearty. I have to say the snow crab, people say snow crab's sweeter. It is sweeter. It's a lot more work, but this meat is absolutely delicious. You guys, this is absolutely incredible and delicious. I mean, it's this, this meat is so, so good. I'm not even capping. I'm not even capping. This is like absolutely amazing. I'm looking to see, because I'm not used to this. Hold on. Ooh. Oh, I broke the meat. Hold on. Let me see. No, fam, don't come for me. Hold on. I know I have tools. I get it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna you use lost my, it. I'm gonna use my tools, fam. I'm new at this. We don't eat crab a lot. I get it. 
but this looks absolutely incredible. So Kristen was nice enough to let me go ahead and dig into her plate, which I have here, lobster claws. Uh, we have some shrimp, we got some lemons as well. And this is like a Cajun sauce right there. So we're gonna go ahead and try it. it smells delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. Now, you guys know, we're not the best at cracking uh, legs and claws and all that type of stuff, but I'm gonna figure this out one way or another. Oh, look, they actually crack it already a little bit for you. So. It might, look at that, <laughs> pop right off. That's awesome. I do have to say the crab legs, we had those, um, it's really fresh here. It seems like all of the seafood is extremely fresh, which I love. Ooh, that looks go. good. Let's try it out. Uh-oh. Things are bone inside. Something was hard inside there, guys. Could have been cartilage. I think it might have been. Let's try that again. <laughs> Carlin. Oh, okay. Here we go. Try another piece. <laughs> I don't feel cartilage in here, so it should be good. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. Mmm. <laughs> there we go. I mean, I do have there to say, go. for all the, and, all, and there was so much more seafood, by the way, in this mm -hmm. section, but for just the seafood alone is worth this price here. It is, it really is. It's kind of as much as you want. That's a great thing, like you see some of the people walking around, stacks, stacks of it, you know? I mean, I guess they have so much, they're not really worrying about it. But for the price, like you're saying, for the price, I mean, it's worth it. I'm gonna try a piece of shrimp really quick too, see how this is. Let's go ahead and try this out. With the shrimp. lemon on it or no? Oh, of course. <laughs> I should've put lemon on the other stuff. Let's do that, here we go. It's delicious. Nice like cocktail shrimp. It's done perfectly. Almost melts in your mouth actually. So it's really fresh. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how good this meat section is. I mean, come on. I feel like we're at like a barbecue joint right now, like an elevated one. So over here, endless meat plate, we got some ribs, we got turkey leg, we have pork belly, we have some brisket, looks absolutely delicious. We have here some bone marrow, which is different. I'm gonna let Jamil try that one first. Uh, Jamil doesn't remember what this is, so you guys can surprise us. I see a bone in here though, so it does have a bone. And then this is... Petite pork shank. Petite pork shank. Let's get this in. Look, look at this, at this brisket absolutely falls apart. Is it that good? I'm not kidding. Uh-huh. Might be the best brisket, best brisket I've ever had. Wow. Yeah, okay. Let's try some pork belly. Okay. Oh. It's good. Nice. This is worth every penny. Good. Every penny. Those ribs look delicious. I had to get two. Okay, there we go. Extremely tender, very juicy. Mm. Not dry at all. Look, pull apart. It's delicious. That's the way they give you the hand wipes. You That's need right, it. makes sense. Mm. You guys, I'm not kidding. Everything is so, so good here. Last but not least, let's try this turkey leg. Are these both turkey legs? They're both turkey legs, yeah. Okay. Well, that looks juicy. Mm. Wow. I'm not a huge skin girl, so I'm taking it off, even though I'm sure a lot of you like it. Don't come for me. I'm usually, you know me, I'm not very carnivore, but I'm carnivore tonight. Like, this is amazing. Like, I could just eat this and be so happy. Nice. Mm. Okay. Your okay guys, so I'm now gonna go ahead and try these three, which by the way, I can't remember what this one is right there, but we're gonna try it out and see how it is anyways. So let's let me start with that one. I love the presentation by the way. I like how they give you these little small plates to kind of put on here. I feel like it kind of takes it to the next level, you know? It does. Okay, let's move these out of the way. I'm excited for you to try the uh, bone marrow. I know, me too. I've never tried bone marrow ever, so. I'm a little scared, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
So off the bat, it does look like pork. To me, it does look like pork. Oh, let me see. Sorry, I just... Yeah. It looks Hold like on. it. It looks like it could be there we some go. pork or something like that. I'm not 100 percent sure. Ooh. Ooh. It tastes like it's a pork with like marinara sauce on that. And the marinara sauce is very good. So here we go. I wow. want to shout out, by the way, to the waitress because I forgot what this was called and she actually went over, found it, took a picture and showed us. So definitely shout out to our waitress. Um, but let's go ahead and try it out. But we didn't want her to go back for the other thing. We didn't know also. I know, I didn't want her to go. <laughs> I felt bad. So it does have a bone in it. So I want to watch out. I want to watch out not to... Ooh, doesn't cut as easy as some of the other stuff, but I think there's a good amount of fat on there, so. Nice, looks good. Let's try it out. Here we go. Boom. That's good. Do you have like a sesame seed flavor? Let's try one more. It's delicious. It's very good. There's also rice in there as well. So it comes with some a little bit of rice, and take a bite. Rice is good also. You guys, this is actually a really good one. This might be one of my favorites so far. Now, let's try the bone marrow, which I'm a little afraid of, but I'm going for it. Now, do you want me to save you some of this, or are you gonna get some later? I'll get, uh, you just let me know how this is. Okay. I think, just so you know, it comes with a piece of bread. Yes, I'm supposed to put it on there. Yes. And spread it on there. Yes. Uh-huh. Are you scared? Yeah. <laughs> Very. <laughs> but you know what? I'm willing to do it. Oh, it's like jelly. It is like jelly. So that's even more concerning. Oh, it's, oh, this is supposed to be really good for you. Though. I was going to say, it's supposed to be healthy, right? Yeah. Bone marrow is supposed to be extremely healthy. <clears throat> so I'm not mad at that. But all the different jelly looks and all the green stuff on there, I don't know. It's only one bite. I think it's only one bite. Okay, I can't even get this last little bit. <laughs> All right, fam. Wish me luck. Good Here luck. Go. Take your time tasting the flame. <laughs> That's really good. I heard it's really good. Oh, wow. That's delicious. What did it I've taste like? never had anything like that. What did it taste like? I don't know what it tastes like. It was just incredible. It was really good. Was that like a pesto on there? Yes, that's what it is. It's like a pesto. Okay. That's exactly what it is. Okay. There's a little bit of a pesto on there, but it's not strong. Pesto's not very strong. But it's more of the texture that the bone marrow brings. And then they add the pesto and all the seasoning that kind of adds a little more to it. That's good. That's very good. After we tried the seafood and the meat section, we wanted to get up and see what else this buffet had to offer. You know me, I love a good sandwich. It was a Cuban sandwich, and so I wanted to taste all the flavors in this, and it was so, so delicious. It was one of my favorite things. And then I went over to this Al Pastor taco. I wanted to take the stem off of the cilantro um, and just go for it, and this pastor had a ton of flavor, almost made my eyes roll back. Very, very delicious. Uh, everything was so good and on point. And then this is Jamil's food. He came back with a whole bunch of stuff, little mishmash of things that looked incredible. And then we have here some loaded French fries. I forget the meat that was on there. It might have been a brisket, I believe. Ugh, but look how good that looks. Um, and it actually was very, very delicious. I even had a bite too. Jamil has the Christian eyes in this section, so he was very happy. Okay, so moved on to dessert, OMG. Their variety of dessert was absolutely incredible. You have everything for anybody, so we just wanted to get a variety of stuff. As you can see, we filled our plates with the desserts and we were so happy to try every single thing. This strawberry shortcake was absolutely amazing, full of flavor, very fresh strawberries. This is a fruity pebble panna cotta, I believe it was. And you know, Jamil on a cereal. I think he said this was one of his favorites. I knew it would be. So let's go ahead and give you our final assessment on the buffet.
So we just left the buffet, and I gotta say, it was probably the best buffet we've ever gone to. What do you think? Uh, it's definitely the best buffet on the strip. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, yeah. um, could be almost tied with one other one. Which oh, should I mention it? Yeah, okay. mention it, please. I think it's very comparable to the Wind Buffet. Yeah, which the is a very good. delicious buffet. But I think that these menu items, these options, yeah. a little, just a little bit more modern mm -hmm. and a little bit more elevated. Just a little bit. Um, very delicious. I do have to say, we also didn't get the full experience because like Kristen mentioned, the uh, the it was the Asian section was completely closed yeah. for the night, which was nice because we got a good discount. Got a great discount. <laughs> yeah, really good. So we're not really complaining, no. but um, but I would agree with you. We can't 100% compare it because of that, you know? Yeah, I mean, yes, we didn't get the full, full experience. That's I right. Oh, okay. No, I'm prepared. Okay. I think it's better than the <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, it was very, very good. Um, okay, so good. yes, it was very, very crowded. Again, yeah. like I said, definitely try to get a reservation if you can. Yeah. Um, the waitress was so, so nice. Oh. Shout out to Martha. Martha, thank you so much. She's she was awesome. She was giving us everything we needed and uh, was yeah. kept reminding us about the food issue. So it's not an issue, but you have an hour and a half uh, yep. to sit down, you know, because some people want to be there three hours to have people come and go, right? Yeah. So you have an hour and a half to eat and then finish your meal. But we had a reservation at 9 o'clock. We didn't sit down until about 9, 15, 9, 10. And basically they start taking away the main entrees at 10.30 and then they take away the dessert at 10.45. And that might seem like plenty of time, but yeah. for some people it's not. And we were recording, so we were actually a little bit rushed. That's right. Yeah. And I do want to actually talk about the desserts. You guys, by far, the best desserts we've had at any buffet ever. I think so too. Ever, for sure. Like, we go to buffets, well, we haven't been often, or lately we haven't been, but in the past we used to go to a lot of them over here in Vegas, and I have to say, majority of the dessert section, it's kind of hit or miss. This thing was more hit than miss. Yeah. There might have been a couple that didn't really taste good, but everything was incredible, and they had the gelato section. Yeah. They had the gelato section, which was amazing. Gelato section and yeah. fresh crepes. Oh, that's right. We didn't get a chance right. to do, I think, for the Russian yeah. part, but they did have fresh crepes that looked absolutely delicious. Crepes yeah. to order, dessert crepes, so that looked really good. So um, I would a thousand percent come back here. And yep. like, for having that Asian section closed, I'd only pay fifty five dollars per person. That's I think right. It's a steal. It was. It and really was. Even if we were to pay full price, um, I would still do it because I do think that if you fill up on your, you know, your meats and your uh, seafoods. It's, it's totally worth it. It's worth it. So overall, what would you rate this? One out of ten. I'll let you go first, and then I'll go afterwards. Okay. Oh, you don't want to do it at the same time? No, you go first. Okay. I give it a ten. You give it a ten? Yeah, there wasn't. I have no complaints about it. I okay. it was flavorful and tasty. You know, the only complaint was, okay, if I have a complaint, it's that we made our reservation a little too late. Yeah. I would have liked to have a little bit more time in there. Because although they say you have an hour and a half to eat, they probably don't pick you out unless you're like, <laughs> yeah. It would have been nice to just like, have a little bit more time and try everything because there's so much to try. Yeah. Um, that's my only thing, but it's still a 10 in terms of food quality and flavor and presentation. How about you? Yeah, I got to give it a, I think overall I'm giving it a 9.5. Okay. Now, the reason why I got to give it, I got to give it a 0.5 less uh, is because of the reservation aspect. You know, if you're not somebody who doesn't schedule things ahead, um, the reservation is going to be a little difficult for you because you're going to have to wait in line. And the line is kind of long, you know, depending on when you go. I'm sure it's going to be shorter other times, but for us, it was pretty, I mean, for if we came and we didn't have a reservation, we would have been in line for a while. So I got to give it 9.5. I have no complaints about the food at all. The service was amazing. Uh, overall, I think 9.5 is fair. It's fair. We're soulful, very yeah. satisfied. Yes. Um, now we got to walk back to the car. Oh, so we valeted because we just, <laughs> we valeted. Uh, oh, yeah. We were all the things, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. $50 to valet. Yeah. 5-0. Yeah. To valet unless you are like some platinum of, or diamond. Unless you're platinum or diamond. Which we are neither. Which we're not. <laughs> um, yeah. And I don't know what the self parking is. I'm sure there's a fee with for that too. That's true. But it won't be $50. So self park if you can. Exactly. I think that's the way or to go. Or Uber or taxi. You're right. You're right. Okay, guys. Well, we are, we're going to run. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, we definitely want to do more buffets in the future. If you like them too, definitely comment below. Let us know, and we just might do something. Yeah. Okay, you guys. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, share. It's game. It's the with the King and Chico, right? And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Whatever time it is out there, we will see you on our next video. Bye.